Hi, welcome to a new Plug and Goo video. My name is John. Skippy Lim Cool. Hands together, head bowed. Welcome. Hey, do you know Rob Poppin? Do you know his synths? Do you know how many different synthesizers and plugins he has? It's a lot of work he has put into building a company uh, of really cool instruments. And I'm going to be showing you BIT2, which stands for Back in Time. It's his kind of like retro analog digital synth, which has some really cool capabilities. But I also just want you to know who Rob Poppin is, because I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. Back in the day, uh, the Access virus came out, and I was working at Korg doing voicing, and all of a sudden at the show, everybody's like, you've got to go play this. This is the cool sounding synth. And it was this little tiny red that the desktop didn't even come out yet, I don't think. It was just the keyboard version. And all of the really cool patches that just slammed you in the head and just had really, really cool, unique things happening had an RP at the end of the patch names. And it was Rob's Patches. Uh, Rob Poppin, not Rob's Patches. You, you know, anyway. So I have known about Rob for a long time, and we've been friends for years now. And he has worked quite hard to make quite a few different products. And um, so this video was actually a sponsored video. He just wanted me to share to you guys that he has some really cool instruments available. Uh, Bit 2 is the one we're going to look at, like I said, and it's at an introductory price. So you can come to his website. It's available for retail is $99. If the intro price is still going, then congratulations. There's, you know, sales from time to time and so forth. But the retail of $99 alone is a sweet deal for the synth. Uh, so all of the synths kind of have a similar layout, so it helps making it really easy to get around. Some of these products where the same company has four or five or more different products, and they all have completely different interfaces and different ways of accessing the patches and so forth, that gets to be a lot to manage. So it's really nice. There's a manager button that can take you to see an overview of the presets. I'm looking in the introduction bank, and I've, I've selected a whole bunch of patches. Let me just play with you some of the patches, and then I'm going to show you some of the cool features in here. But listen to the sounds. A lot of people consider Rob's plugins to be like an inspiration station. Every one of them just has tons of inspiring patches to work with. So if you don't know about him, I just want to make sure you do, because he's a great guy and makes cool stuff. So here's some of his instruments. Um, You know, it's retro, so he's got a lot of really cool things in here, different cool pads. And he worked really hard on getting patches that had the Roland vibe, like the Jupiter vibe. Which has PWM happening. Each oscillator is pan left and right. It's nice, very nice. Uh, let me call up a patch and show you something that's new added to bit two. Let's go over here to Phallicus. One thing that's added is this ribbon that can be quantized to snap back. Now, this patch doesn't really show it off, so I did an edit. So if I go up here and call up my own little version of this, it starts much darker. And then the ribbon brings it brighter, brings up resonance, and brings up the pitch of oscillator 2. And it's set to spring back at a one major. So, what the heck is that? One. So having quantized snapback just makes it so easy to make things that are going to just... That cool <laughs> it's really fun to play with so there's that um what's really cool and different than a lot of the other retro synthesizers is the attention to details of adding 
this little advanced button so that each of the two oscillators is able to get into doing separate LFO and pitch envelope or uh, things to the waveform or feedback. Um, and as you can see, you can route oscillator one into oscillator two and do phase modulation. So you can get into FM type of DX7 kind of sounds or more true FM, which is a lot more of a radical kind of a sound, ring modulation and so forth. So let, let me show you a couple examples of that. There's a patch right here that's really cool. I like little, um, where is it, bamboo lead? And if you change the semitone, it's FM. Really cool. There's a bass patch that I love over here too. Uh, where is it? Um, the FM bass. Check this out. Um, if you go over here and take the semitone down to one, or actually just zero, to bring up the fine tune. It's like, I made a bass in the in the, the T series and stuff, the FM bass. It was sampled from my DX7, which is right here behind me. And it had that same really cool knock to just a solid. Love that. It's really, really, really cool. So this synth has some really fun things. Another thing that's in here that's really fun is if we go to something like... Um, Another thing added is distortion on the amp. So the layout is two oscillators. Second oscillator has a sub oscillator, which is really cool. Two separate filters. You've got routing to send things into split oscillator mode, which means oscillator one gets filter one. Oscillator 2 gets filtered too. There's all sorts of types from 6 dB to 36 dB. There's ring and all sorts of stuff. There's a really cool patch right here that really shows off the ring mod. And you combine this with the FM that's happening. All sorts of really fun territory. <laughs> um, also, let's see a couple other things that are fun. Um, the sequencer has a number of different modes from basic arpeggiation all the way to the sequencer mode you're hearing now where... There's chorus, flanger or phaser, delay and reverb, which is cool. So you can have reverb on and delay. It's good stuff. Great synthesizer for those of you needing the retro analog vibe. Uh, one example I want to show you really quick before we go. Um, uh, this Fusion Brass. Very, very Rolandy, and you can make it even more stereo Rolandy. I made a variation on this right here where I've set it to be split os. I'm using the separate tune. So you hear the pitchy G on the left side is here. And the pitchy G on the right side. So it can do all those really cool vibes. You got noise, all sorts of stuff here to work with, white and pink, which is really cool. Great synth.
and a whole bunch of synths are available. If you own one or two Rob Poppin synths, if you come over here and you log in and you put in credentials, you'll find you get discounts for getting additionals and stuff. And they have demos of everything. So you can try out everything. So head to robpoppin.com and check them out. If you need some inspiration for your musical productions, this is a great place to go. So there you go. Thanks. See you in the next video.